Hi, this is Mike, and this is part three of my wiki tutorial. Uh, right now we're going to take a look at how to add an image to your uh, wiki page. So here I am in the wiki page that I've been editing, and I'm going to click on Edit again here. And now I have to decide where I would like that image. Well, first, let's go ahead and find an image. And I want to just find an image on the web. So I want a picture of Cicero, because I've got all this Latin text here. So I'm going to do a uh, Google search um, for Cicero. And um, I found a nice image of him. It's not that large. So I'm just going to copy um, the image URL. And you can find that up in the uh, address bar of your browser and I'm gonna go back to my blackboard site and now I'm gonna paste that image in here so I will put my cursor where I'd like the image and I'll click on the little insert image icon it's a little tree next to the little anchor at the bottom left and I've got my insert image dialog box and I want to include an image from an external website so I'll check that radio box and now I have to delete that HTTP um, and I'm just going to paste in the URL that I copied um, where that image was right here. And now I'll hit insert. I'll put in a title for it so people know um, if they don't see the image what the image is supposed to be. I'll hit insert. And there's my image of Cicero, but it's kind of big. So what I need to do is I need to um, select that image by clicking on it. And then I can right click on the image and click on image properties. And you get that annoying message if you're in um, Internet Explorer. So I click No again. And here's the general information on the image. So it tells me the URL, the image description, and the title. And now I can click on Appearance. And I can choose the alignment, which I will choose as left, because I want the image to be on the left-hand side. Um, that image is a little too big for me. So I want to make it, let's say, 200 pixels. And if I choose the Constrain Proportions button, um, the width will change automatically. The height, if you change one, the other one will change automatically. I'm going to give it some vertical space to give it some room next to the text, and some horizontal space. And I'll forego a border this time, and I'll hit Update. Now remember, if you're in Firefox, um, your window might not show update and cancel, in which case you can just grab the edge of the window and open it up and you'll see that update. And click on update. So there it is. My image is now shrunk down and it's aligned with the text. Now if I wanted to link to the image um, online to show where I got that image, in what context, I can do that as well. I'll just click on the image and I will click on insert link and I can link to an external website and I can either link directly to that image like that um, I'll just paste in that same URL uh, toward the Im to the image that I had before or I can actually go back and find the, the page that it was in um, and actually let me do that instead so I'm gonna go back to that image and I'm gonna go back to the website there's that no good reason website that I grabbed it from and there's that image in context so I'm just gonna grab that URL I'll go back to my blackboard page I will select that image click on link and I will paste it into my linked external website insert and I'm done. Actually, it looks like the image went to full size again, so let me go to Image Properties, click on No, and I'll fix the appearance again. That's a little bit of a hassle. And I'll say Update. And now it's back to the size I expected. Now I'll just hit Save, 